Hi, this is the second video, one of two, where we're looking at doing the T-counts for the following business transactions. So the question is to prepare the T-counts, balance them off, and prepare the trial balance. So in the first video, we went through the debits and credits for each transaction, and we populated the various T-counts, and we ended up at the very end down here with the last bad entry in bad debts. So once you have done all the debits and credits, the next step is to balance off the T account. So I'll go up to the very top and we'll do the first one. Bank and capital are the first two accounts. So just to balance off the bank account, we have a total box in. And when you balance off accounts, you're basically getting the difference between both sides. And the balance is going to go down underneath on the bigger side. So here I can see straight away the debit side is far bigger, there's 8,120 versus whatever this adds up to. Let's add them up and see. So 8,120 versus 705. So the debit side is bigger by quite a bit. Mm. So it's bigger by 7,415. or 8, 1, 2, 0, minus 30, minus 120, minus 480, minus 75, gives us 7415. And all that means is the debit side is bigger than the credit by 7,415. So at the end of the month, we put the balance bought down underneath the total on the bigger side. So it's important you put it here on the debit side. And then to finish balancing it off, because at the moment the account is unbalanced looking, we bring the balance carried down figure, which is just the bought down, bought up, and then both sides add up to 8,120. But that's the key figure here. Here we have our bank account. It's easy to balance off an account when there's only one side so the, we can see here the credit side is bigger than the debit side. And you could do carry down if you wanted for totals, but there's no need when you've already shown you can do it for accounts with entries on both sides. So here the debit side is bigger. 10. And the same for purchases. And if you wanted to do the carry down, bought down, that's what it would look like. But it's it's okay just to show it like we've done here either. Some of you may have been used to doing something like this where you, I think you put profit income statement or profit and loss account. You put the entry to the income statement. But and at the end of the year, all of the expense and revenue accounts are cancelled out. They're bought to the income statement, and there's no balance carried forward until to the following year. But during the year, we, we will bring the balances down and carry them forward, because it's not until the end of the year that all the expense and revenue accounts are, are kind of wiped out by being bought to the income statement or the profit and loss account, as it's called. So sorry for that aside. So just about balance Walsh's account, and we can see straight away that the credit side is bigger by 830, so we should end up with 830 underneath on the credit side as the balance bought down. So when you have entries on both sides of an account, you need to carry down and bought down, and both sides, both totals need to add up to the, the bigger total the, on the bigger side. So that's Walsh balanced. Then we look at Thomas and both sides add up to 185. So here there are no difference, there's there is no difference between the debit and the credit. So there is no balance. The account uh, has been cleared. So here it's been cleared because of bad debts, which is not really ideal, but it's uh, that's what's happened. Here's our sales account. You can read, so you don't need me to tell you. But I'm kind of nattering away as I do this. So 1005. Then we have motor vehicle and repairs. So there's motor vehicles 
balanced and there's the balance bought down and here 120 on the debit side and we need to balance off Morgan as well and in Morgan's account we had 1000 on the debit we had 500 sorry 500 on the debit 1000 on the credit so the credit side is bigger by 500 so that's why she should end up with 500 underneath on the credit side and when we bring the carry down balance up it balances off remember that wasn't there before so then these ones so I've done the easy one on easy ones I've balanced off purchase returns wages and cash and now we've got the small account and if we were to do it like you be with your calculator we'll clear all 500 plus 320 minus 190 minus 10 so the debit side is bigger by 620 euro and that's what gets bought down as the balance bought down on the bigger side and the debit side is the bigger side here and that's it here and on both of them because the 620 and bought down is the important one and that's what gets bought to the trial balance 620 on the debit side of the trial balance and a couple more here I'll do them quickly so I've balanced discount allowed discount received bad debts and the express account who we bought goods off stash, sorry bought stationery off and both sides add up to 80 now this is 80 and 75 plus 5 is 80 so no difference between the sides so the balance bought down is nil where there's no difference between them there are no there is no balance carried down or bought down and that's the end of the balancing and all we have to do now is do the trial balance the last thing prepare the trial balance which is just a list of all the T accounts so here's my heading there are more or less three columns in trial balance one column is your description of the or the name of the T account and then the other two columns are a debit column and a credit column and all we do is go to each T account put the description here and put the balance bought down either in the debit or the credit column so the first one we look at is bank and the balance bought down at the bank is 7415 on the debit side the next one I think was capital account and the capital balance bought down was 8000 and you just go through the T accounts like that stationery 110 purchases 900 and so here I've put in stationery and purchases and now we go up to the other accounts and Walsh the balance was 830 and in Thomas the balance was nil because both sides add up to 185 so 830 on the credit side for Walsh and Thomas you could put nil you could leave Thomas out but it's no harm to put him in it shows you know that it doesn't go in so sales credit 1005 motor vehicles is debit 1000 and Morgan 500 Morgan 500 credit and repairs 120 debit and then we go on to the next set of accounts 620 70 and 70 cash 70 10 and 25 now as I said before the cash the problem shouldn't really ever have a credit balance in cash you can't have a minus cash but I wrote this question of it a mistake in writing it I should have that should be in a check transaction but anyway Chris see ya so then we go to the rest of the accounts 
and there are only two express as nil and bad debts is 185. And then the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And if we have done our debits and credits correctly, if we've done a, an opposite debit for each credit, when we add up our trial balance, it should balance. So if I add up all of these, the debit sides add up to that, 10, 4, 30. <laughs> it doesn't, why not? So you can imagine my cursing behind the safety of the pause button, but now <laughs> I've looked, and if this happens, it's, it's a good thing because sometimes it tells you you didn't do the double entry correctly, so it's no harm to show that, and I found what I did wrong on the, and you might have noticed it as I went through, on the 10th, or which one was it, on the bank, yes, on the 10th of July, small agreed to pay 200, so we received, the business received a check of 190, so we debit bank 190, credit small 200, and discount allowed is debited then 10 in the bank account. So here's small credit 190 and the opposite for that is bank so we go to our bank account and we should have 190 but instead I put in 120 so I need to just change that to 190 from small. That changes this to 1890. So it changes the total to 8190 and the new balance bought down is just got by adding the debits and taking the credits is is that figure so I should have cleared we'll try again 8000 plus 190 minus 30 minus 120 minus 480 and minus 75 is 7485 so the debit side is bigger by 7485 so then we come down to the trial balance and the balance bought down should be 7485 and now our trial balance is balanced and that gives us comfort that we did our debits and credits fairly correct. We still may have got it wrong if we debited the wrong account but hopefully not. So that's it. It took what 30 minutes, nearly another bloody 15 minutes for this question so this is the second video and Hopefully it was useful to you how to balance accounts and do the trial balance. So thanks for watching.